Hi everybody, today we are going to be um, talking briefly about um, safe uh, interaction with other people, um, whether it's adults or kids, in person and online. Um, it's very important that we talk about this subject because um, being able to talk about it and being um, informed about it and knowing about it will help to keep you uh, safe as you get older um, and interact with uh, more people in person and online. So we just wanted to first uh, talk about um, some specific words that you might hear. Um, a lot of talk happens uh, in elementary school about boundaries. Boundaries are um, basically lines that you draw around yourself saying this is what I am comfortable with and this is what I am not comfortable with. Um, those boundaries can be mental, emotional, physical. Um, you can say, you know, I'm okay with somebody like patting me on the shoulder, but I don't like somebody patting me on the lower back. You could say, um, I don't mind one of my friends calling me this nickname that I don't really like, but I don't want other people to say it to me. Um, you know, things like that is having boundaries of like what you're okay with, um, what you're not okay with. Um, and that there's certain trusted people that can do certain things and certain people that are not allowed to do certain things. Um, so those people that can um, and that you trust are your safe friends, your safe adults. They're people that um, love you, that look out for you, um, that want you to be safe, want you to be healthy, want you to be happy, and they would never ever scare you, make you uncomfortable, um, or hurt you on purpose. Um, sometimes those things are unavoidable, even with safe adults. For example, um, doctors and nurses might give you a shot um, at your doctor's appointment that will hurt but they're not doing it to you know hurt you for a bad reason they're doing it because you need a shot so that you can stay well um, there are also your special safe adults your special safe adults are the very few people who uh, are allowed to see or touch your private body parts those people might be um, anybody that has to help you uh, if you were to like break an arm or a leg, somebody that is allowed to help you get dressed. Um, if you uh, go to the doctor's office and you go in for a checkup and they just want to check and make sure that everything's clean and um, that it's healthy and everything's going fine, um, that's different. So those are, those are very few people. Those might be like your parents or your grandparents, um, your doctor. And that's by this age, that's pretty much it. Um, so knowing the difference between people who you trust and are safe, but also people that um, have that extra level of being a special safe adult where um, they can do and see a little bit more if you needed it for um, a medical reason. There's also going to be unsafe friends and unsafe adults. Those are the friends who aren't really friends and the grown-ups who say they care about you but don't really have your best interests at heart. Those are the people who will scare you or hurt you or make fun of you um, or confuse you, frighten you. Um, people who um, are not really looking out for you and you want to make sure that you avoid those people because they might put you in danger um, and you don't want to be around them. Just like there's safe adults and unsafe adults, there's safe touches and unsafe touches. Safe touches um, are things that do not scare you or make you uncomfortable um, or cross your boundaries. Things like a hug from your parents, a handshake with somebody new, a high five from your coach, um, linking arms with a friend, anything that is comfortable for you that makes you feel happy, um, anything that's okay. Um, also, there's those few safe touches that are like related to the doctor where like, you know, a shot might hurt. Or if your mom is trying to clean out um, a cut you got on your leg with hydrogen peroxide and it burns and it stings, but it's to make you feel better and heal. Unsafe touches are those touches that are inappropriate, that are scary, that are uncomfortable. Um, that make you feel weird about them. It could be touching like your private body parts, but it can also be things that are related to like bullying or just being mean, like kicking, punching, spitting, hitting, stepping, um, anything like that. 
And if you experience an unsafe touch, if something happens to you or if an unsafe adult or friend tries to um, use an unsafe touch, um, they might tell you to keep it a secret um, because they don't want anybody to know. They might even tell you that something bad will happen if you tell somebody, but that is not true. Always, 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 always tell. If there's anything that confuses you, makes you uncomfortable, scares you, um, you should always tell an adult. Um, because how you're feeling and how they're acting, um, it's very important that a grown-up who loves you and cares for you can make sure that you're always in safe situations and that they take you out of unsafe situations. Um, also, if something like that were to be happening to you, if there was an unsafe adult who attempted to um, touch you unsafely or a friend that, or, well, not a friend, a classmate that attempted to like hit you or push you, um, you say no, you say stop and you immediately get yourself out of that situation if you can and go and find an adult. Um, if for some reason you can't get out of that situation successfully, then the first thing you need to do after that is to go tell an adult. Um, and that goes for things that are in person and things that are online. So obviously if somebody, um, you know, touches your leg really high up and you're not comfortable with it, or if somebody um, pushes you into the lockers in the hallway, um, that is pretty obvious, you know, that that's uncomfortable and that's something that you should talk about. But the same goes for the internet. If something makes you uncomfortable, um, then you need to tell somebody. That's even if um, a friend showed you something, an adult showed you something, you stumbled across something by accident, um, any of those things you need to tell an adult. Um, same thing with online bullying. If somebody is calling names or threatening people, um, saying mean things about them, that is also unsafe. That's also hurtful. Um, and those things also need to be told to adults. Um, and the person needs to be told to stop. If something like that starts happening, um, after you say, you know, ask them to stop, you don't type anymore, you don't say anymore to them, um, and then you immediately go and get an adult to look at it and then they can take the proper action for it. Also with the internet, um, there are probably rules that your parents have or grandparents or guardians have um, for what you can and cannot do when you're using the internet. I know that um, the older you get, the more things that you can usually use it for and the more freedom you have and the better you're able to um, to work the computer and all the different things that you know uh, how to do now. Um, but I'm sure that your parents have rules um, that need to be followed whether they're there or not. And if for some reason you don't have any specific rules, it would be a good idea to talk to your parents about it so that they can protect you. Um, some rules would be like, you know, putting a parent filter on it, not accessing anything that's not for school, um, or not any specific games that your parents have already approved, um, things like that, and just making sure that you're safe. Obviously, um, too, some, some kids, especially, you know, fourth, fifth grade, will start going on social media, uh, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok. So make sure that if you are doing uh, those social media pages that your parents know about it and give their permission, that your parents are able to access and look at your social media to make sure that there's nothing um, inappropriate going on, and also um, to make sure that um, you are not giving information out that is dangerous. Um, if you put personal information on the internet, like your um, birthday, your hometown, your school, um, your friends, where you like to hang out, um, those are all things that are dangerous because those are things that people can use to find you if they want to find you. Um, so it's very dangerous to put anything out on the internet that will tell people exactly where you are and where they can find you and what you're doing. Um, 
It's also important to remember that anything that you put on the computer, even if you delete it or um, try to hide it, somebody somewhere can access it. Um, there's also people that may have taken pictures or screenshots of something, you know, between you posting something and deleting it, and those will be circulating. Those will be going around. Um, so just be aware that nothing disappears from the internet. Um, you need to be very careful what you put on there. Um, and you need to be very careful that the people that you interact with on there. Um, so there is a fill in the blank that goes along with this that you have. Um, I'm going to use a word bank. I'm going to um, go over the answers in the next video. And um, we can talk about that and then we'll be done.